All right, 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 all right. Bro, last night was insane. Was it? <laughs> Oop, that should not be on that screen. It's a story for later. Oh, <laughs> okay. I tell some of the story during the podcast. Okay. Right? Yeah, Any look, anything that's, the, I mean, look, this this stream is rated, you know, R. You know, it's 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 for adults, an adult audience, um, ideally, right? But... But yeah, there are some things that we definitely should uh, should keep to ourselves. I completely understand. Don't worry. <laughs> I, 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 I've been thinking about how I was gonna tell this story on the cast, if at all. So. <laughs> See, that's what I like, though. You gotta, you know, you gotta think about. <laughs> you gotta think about like the right way to say stuff. Oh man. Sorry, I'm I'm posting uh, I'm posting on Instagram right now. All right, and then how do I hear branded content? No, I'm not. It's none of those things. I just wanted, I just want to put a link. <laughs> Fine, uh, link in. Put a link on it? Uh, no, it won't let me on Instagram for some reason. Uh, link in bio though. Uh, so uh, Alma sent me a couple tracks to to put on here, uh, yo, and Alma yo, Alma's Alma's doing well, man. Uh, I like, yeah, you know, I'm planning a trip, uh, so that I can see so that I can see some of you you good friends of mine, uh, in the near future. So uh, once we start getting some people in here. You know, we we will oh, initiate you? our conversation. Yeah, bro, I told you I was setting it up and you know okay, putting right it on go. go. Now nah, you good, you good, you good. Uh, here. here. Let me see. Where is the way to put links on Instagram? That's the thing. I don't know. Uh, and apparently, like, it's got to be like branded content, and like you got to be a business partner or something. So I uh, uh I also put it up on. I mean, I put it up on my snap. I put it on Twitter and I put it on IG, so. That's social media marketing for you. Look, man. <laughs> yeah. You ain't wrong. I know, but do remember, this is recording, so, like, we could get started. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, it is recording. Um, people are going to come back and listen to this. So. Yeah. Uh, so how are you, dog? I know that you've uh, you've you've been kind of sick this week. Uh, um, listen, well, first and foremost, I want to say that I do not have the Rona, so that's the automatic assumption. <laughs> that's what people are going to go through automatically. Yo, yeah, you know what? <laughs> it's it's annoying, yeah. but it's understandable. Like, I can't yeah. mad about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I actually went to get tested for the Rona yesterday. And, uh, uh, yeah, my sister and I went, we went to go get the, an the, uh, the antibody test, and it was exactly what they tell you. It's that long... Bruh, very uncomfortable stick just straight down the back of your neck and just <laughs> and like yeah it's like and the woman's like okay 10 seconds and she just and like the whole time you can she's just super nonchalant like you can hear her nails clacking against each other like they're just rubbing back and forth it she not a care but you know what I got to say, I, I, I didn't have as bad a time as my sister just because I already suffer from horrible nasal problems. Uh, but, it, it, yeah, it, it wasn't pleasant. Um, oh, that, that was so the one positive, though, is I think that they knocked a lot of, like, phlegm I had in the back of my throat. Because uh, I'm over sickness, all I've been doing is hacking up phlegm. It's evil, it's disgusting, and I hate it. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. Wait, do we test to see if we can hear me on the cast? I'm so just concerned. Uh, uh, if anybody, anybody watching, please, please comment right now and let us know if you can hear Ralph well or if I need to adjust his voice. It sounded like you were heard, but I would speak as well. Oh, I can't hear you. Oh, 
Yeah, because <laughs> you stopped. <laughs> I muted myself like a. I'm, no, I muted myself like a smart person. That was great. Okay. No, I can't hear myself. Oh, no, okay, there we go. I can hear myself. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Just listen, that's the last time, bro. Uh, are you actually... Make sure you're speaking into the, or into the microphone. You see how close I got this one to me? Like... Yeah, mine is just, just off screen. Like my You can bring it into screen. It's fine. Right here. Mm, that's it. That's a big one. Oh wow! <laughs> Yo. Oh. Um. Make sure to aim towards it when you speak, though, because that's 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 going to be important for clarity. In the direction of my mouth. Hey, but you're whispering now. <laughs> All right. You know what? Here, let me let me try to turn you up a little bit more. You can't. Oh no! Wait. Uh, that was before. That was before. Uh, he, well, I don't know. He hasn't said anything again, but. Uh, uh, oh, gosh. See, I, I feel kind of bad that you can't hear the music that I'm listening to as well. Because. testing how did it go uh yeah so far it, it seems fine uh here i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna bring him up some more uh and put down the music mm -hmm. oh i still can't be heard is that, is that what's happening yeah, yeah yeah that's what i'm trying to i'm trying to up your volume as much as i can yeah the <laughs> this this track man <laughs> Time. yeah this track our boy made uh this is the uh, uh the vanessa hudgens moans on a jersey beat that that amen did oh yeah he's a monster yeah he he's is like okay so let so let's be so uh, i will say this then and i'm hoping i'm, I'm hurt in saying this yeah i, I put so. you up to 160 percent amen the producer is a friend of mine ours who, our friend of ours I've known him since high school. Like this. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's I, fine. I knew him before he was DJing, before he was producing, back when he was just very interested in music. This man has blossomed into an amazing producer. Yeah. He's blossomed into an amazing DJ. Like I remember when I was DJing. I still. I'm. I'm still gonna get back into DJing. But when I was DJing, I was going by the the tag name DJ Koki. Um, me and my fellow DJ friend, um, DJ Young Bull. We're doing an event, and we, we were doing our thing. I was still very new to DJing, so there was still some things I was working on. Mm -hmm. He hopped on my turntable, and I was like, so why am I here? <laughs> why am I here? If he's going to do what he's doing, why am I here? Like, I, I don't understand why. I'm yeah. favorite, jumping on there and doing what he's doing. It's yeah. Not, it's just nuts. Just yeah. nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, speaking of DJs, uh, you know who's... So, I don't know if you remember, but my godfather uh, used to DJ when he was younger. Like, a lot. Um, yeah, like, he, he was a DJ for El Api Consciente, like, the the, the, you know, the Dominican artists, like, a lot of other hip-hop artists. And, like, he, he, he did a lot of other things. Bro, he, like... He started setting up his uh, uh his kid again. Like he he has Serato set up with his with his oh, laptop and everything, see? bro. And I helped like he. I mean, I say I helped him with like put together his setup yesterday. But it was literally I went into the attic to grab a couple of quarter inch to XLR our cables for him, and he plugged it in. He's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna start DJing again. And I'm like, yo, you should stream yourself DJing. And, yeah. Windows yeah uh so he's just trying to figure out he needs to get the right cable to uh to be able to uh plug the interface properly into the uh, uh like into the uh computer so that it captures the interface uh as well um but that yo Listen, that's gonna dude, be fuego what was funny is because um it i don't know if i'm gonna completely touch on last night but I will mention that last night I was mentioning DJing and I was talking about this event that I did in 2018. The first big event I ever mm -hmm. did. Um, I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That I did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
honestly, the biggest event I've done, corporate event, I had everybody going crazy. It was a great time. Like, being a DJ, one of my favorite things was doing was getting a crowd live, getting a crowd lit, getting everybody dancing, making sure everybody had a great time. And I love, like, of course, it's nice to get at the end when people are like, yo, that was dope. You did such a good job. And I'm like, yeah, I, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Like, <laughs> I know what I do, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna do it. Like, <laughs> there you go. Cool about it. <laughs> Yo, Ralph, I felt like you. Uh, with, I feel like with that event, like you low key pulled like a, like a, I'm on top of the world, and then you disappeared to to raise Literally, hype yeah. to raise hype for your next appearance. Yeah. Yep. Now everybody's Literally. like, Yo, when DJ Koki coming back? <laughs> When is it happening? Cause you, I have a feeling they'd hire you for another for another holiday party. Like if you still had some friends there, oh, yeah. they they definitely hire you back. Like you just oh, yeah, you no, just I need your equipment. Get another event if I want to. Yeah. The day the day will come. Yeah, soon come, soon come, soon come. Um, All right, so let's so try to the topics uh, real so real quick, uh, one of the ways that I, I I do want us to to really come into into every episode here is is you know uh just explaining to to fam to the group you know ralph and i you know we've known each other for over 10 years now uh yes. we <laughs> we met at a church uh yeah. yeah we were regular contributors to the to some sketches that were on a, a youtube channel um we made some of our own videos together yeah. um ralph it, ralph i mean we both have uh have some projects we're actually um uh one of our 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 i mean ralph if you would like to just mention the pride and joy we're not i don't know if we want to go into that like okay, we could we can mention the pride and joy we um, have to really I, okay so if i had to describe how i want to mention this we have to mcu marvel interview it you know when they're not allowed to say oh yeah specifics like yeah. you can only like just mention okay okay things. like generalities yeah 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 um so yes there is a comic in the works right now uh-huh that um okay so this universe is being shared between me and lobo between uh, where we're writing two characters in this universe that's going to be a very expansive universe that's going to be very very cool the art is in the works i'm mm. excited i can't wait oh yeah 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 it's great it's 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 so beautiful um uh i we won't let's not even go off on names or anything just yet i had i haven't found an artist just yet for uh for what i've written so far but i'm i'm starting to do sketches and and, and try to come up with like at least the basis uh for what i'm hoping for uh you know uh but other than that um uh, we're doing this together. Uh, I'm helping edit some uh, some some podcasts for some some other friends. Like I, you know, we I, I feel like Ralph and I have have uh, uh, creative limbs. And just you yeah, know, <laughs> yeah, or, or trying to uh, try. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's uh, been some time. They have rigor mortis, and we're trying <laughs> to shake it off of them. Just like, all right, uh, all right, T Swift. <laughs> let's uh, let's get to shaking here. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, again, thank you for joining whoever's here. Uh, you guys are uh, appreciated. Um, Very much. so let's, you. let's take a look at, yes, we do. We do love you. Um, so let's take a look at, uh, uh let's, let's take a look at some of our topics. Some of the things that, uh, we kind of wanted to touch on, which we have, which of which we have plenty. Yeah. And we, we are known to, to just go off on tangents about them so they will be well explored yeah at at please at any point in time please just yes shaking and baking uh at any time if you want to contribute have something to say about something we're talking about join in you know this is uh this is meant to be a conversation uh for all of we're us yeah we are here amongst friends yeah this is a a verbal cipher if you will um <laughs> So talk to me, Ralph. What's how's how's your week been so far? Hey. Uh, the week the week's been okay. The week's been um, I'm gonna be that boring person and complain about the for a moment. It's been extremely humid in New York City, and I'm just not okay with it. I'm not okay with it. I'm not. Yeah. And I know that's something you regularly deal with in Florida, but I'm just gonna complain about it because it's happening. Yeah. No, that's fine. 
I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like sweating for no reason. I'm just, I'm not here for it. Put Preach. me in 100 degrees of dry weather before you put me in 70 degrees of humidity. Mm-hmm. I don't want to deal mm-hmm. with it. <laughs> That's what, oh, uh-oh, something went wrong. Oop, there we go. Sorry. What, what went wrong? No, I just, it, 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 things are weird. <laughs> um, But yeah, so I have been relatively unbusy <laughs> for for a little while now you know um kind of just you know trying to trying to grasp inspiration to to work on a couple things uh mm-hmm. but but in the meantime looking i guess for inspiration elsewhere um so let's 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 take a look at a couple of these things man like so i i feel like i'm always going to uh wonder you know like what like what what are some of our favorite cartoon teams all right because we I, oh, like we right to this? man yeah all right and no i like the, i feel like our some <laughs> of our favorites list got cut off all right and like because i started jumping off on tangents and everything uh i also set up in the stream a suggestion box where i switched it up to um you know for people to say what their you know favorite uh, uh, teams and in, in media are whether it's real life, you know, it could be a sports team, yeah, you know, it, it could be you know a video game team, it could be a, a a cartoon you know show team, you know, you know Rick and Morty, you know what you know whatever it is. Um, and that would pretty much like to represent what what we are then, right? Yeah, yeah, like we 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 were trying to figure out what like what cartoon team Ralph and I resemble in our friendship, but it, I feel like it's we've been doing this. For a while, it, it, like you, you've got a friend that you guys are like uh, Rigby and Mordecai from regular show together. Oh, God. Yes, right. I'm the Rigby. <laughs> no, I'm the Mordecai to her Rigby. Like, hey. She would always get us in the stuff, and then I'd have to be like, okay, I'm, I'm, you know, and I'll have to think my way out of the situation that she got us into. And I'm just like, oh, why does this always happen? Why does it always happen? I actually purchased the pops for Mordecai and Rigby. And I gave yeah. her the Rigby. Like this, this is you, and this is me, me saving you from. I don't know who, if anybody here's watched the regular show. If you haven't watched the regular show from Carson, it is a great show. I have two characters on there called Mordecai and Rigby. Rigby is the troublemaker, and Mordecai is kind of a troublemaker. But he's more less, more yeah, he's a little bit more uh, he's gonna, he, responsible. He'll be involved in the nonsense, but if it goes too far, he'll be the one to be like, okay. I don't know, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he's got that he's got that energy that like yeah uh he, he, maybe we shouldn't have started this, but eh, whatever, let's we're here now. Uh <laughs> let's see. It, it, something we were toying with was uh uh two angry beavers. Uh or angry we, beavers, yeah. Norbert and Daggett. But None of us are, neither of us is that chaotic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> neither of us is that chaotic. We're both pretty chill. Like, we're good in the nuts, but we're both pretty chill. And we're both level-headed enough to get away. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I feel like our actual friendship wouldn't make great TV dynamics unless, like, we were caricaturized. All right? Unless it was, like, the most extreme of our personalities put together, like, we'd be boring as hell. Um so all right well and now all right so what if we did uh what would be our most characterized uh, um uh, uh, traits i feel like you said it all um off stream one time that our combination is you're chucky finster and i'm tommy Pippen. <laughs> it word it's that. yeah I, I i honestly i think it's that yeah yeah i could see that i i am the uh i'm the reticent one i'm the i'm the like I'm the first one to be like, "Are you sure we should be doing that?" And you, you are more like, oh, "We should try it." You know, like it's, you know, what's wrong with trying it? Listen, yeah, no. Right, everyone's not as bad as it. And even when right. I advise against something, man's still be pulling up like, "A baby's got to do what a baby's got to do." Do it, it's true. I got my lucky screwdriver, and we out here. Like we good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. See, I'd rather be that than be Phil. You know, uh, I'm sorry, whoever identifies with Phil, but Phil, I'm sorry, bro. 
Phil's with all the nonsense. Phil's yeah, fi- yo, Phil. Oh, you know what? I okay. do have some friends like Phil. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I have some friends like Phil. Phil. <laughs> Phil's are fun. You can't hang out with Phil's all the time, but Phil's are fun every yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh man, just all of them are characters. Yeah. <laughs> I have a couple of Susie Carmichael's in my life. I love them. Word. Yo, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we don't, I feel like not enough credit is given to the Susie Carmichael's of the world. They're dope. They're reliable. They're there for you. They're smart. They don't take the nonsense. Yo, I, I, I mean, yeah, there's nothing to dispute there. That was, that was just correct. Uh, ooh, which reminds me, which reminds me, and I hate to say this. But it reminds me of the creepy pasta for the uh, for this don't show, bring, right? Don't bring that. No, don't. <laughs> no, because look, because some of our viewers may not have heard it, right? And it's it's one of those theories. Uh, it's one of those theories. Uh, ooh, yeah, it, that that are f- funny and interesting to think about. But like, if it's real, it's kind of like, bro, that's that's uh, that's wild. Okay. All right, so like creepy pasta theory since. Continue with you. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the Ed and Eddie. Ed and one of my favorite. Yo, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Ed, Ed and Eddie. I don't really think we could be anybody from there either. <laughs> no, no. I when I was younger, I identified with Ed just because me and him were both large people. And I was <laughs> yeah, never that it. type of person. I was never that. Dumb. But they're dope. <laughs> just so, yeah, yeah. Um. I forgot what I was saying. Um, I I peep you using the the push to mute button. Check you out. Uh, <laughs> we out here. Um, what was it? Uh, I forgot where I was and everything. We're talking about um, we couldn't be Ed and Nettie. Yeah, we couldn't. No, before that, it was uh, nobody from Ed and Nettie. We're saying the creepy pasta. Yeah, the creepy pasta from Rugrats. Thank you. <laughs> so. Uh, they're saying, or they had, or I, you, you can find it on the internet, uh, that Angelica, uh, was a, uh, like she had, uh, schizophrenia or something. Uh, like she was, she was born a crack baby, uh, cause her mom, who's actually like, who is represented in Cynthia with like all the, the hair pulled out and like her mom was a crackhead. Um, and that's why she resents like her new mother so much because she's so different from like her actual mom. Um, that Tommy, what was it? Uh, Tommy died young, uh, and that's why Lou stays like Lou is Lou is always like making toys, uh, for for the baby that that passed away. Uh, Phil and uh. Phil and Lil was either like an abortion or like uh like a, a stillbirth. Uh yeah. And they so she didn't know whether it was a boy or a girl, so she made them both. Who thinks of this stuff? Bro, I don't know, man. It's the internet. Whoa. The internet's wild. That's was innocent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um it's it's wild. I, I mean, I, yeah. Oh, but they also say uh, I, I forget what they said about Chucky, um, or maybe Chucky was the was the crack baby, and that's why like he always has the shakes or something. Like that's why they said um, he was scared. Why yeah, we make it? yeah, was it was, yeah. That's yeah. all. It was. Yeah, it's not his fault. It's um, and then they said that uh, uh, Susie was her therapist, uh, was was uh, 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 Angelica's therapist, uh, who heard all these stories and then told someone about it, who wrote it into a story, like a kid's story, and uh, and sold it to Nickelodeon or something. I don't believe it. I don't. I don't know if the, you know. I don't believe it. Yeah. The is a <laughs> and you're not gonna taint this thing I grew up on. No, I, look, no, it, I have it, sir. No, taint the uh, uh, taint the uh, uh, taint the intention, but but no. that's that's why. Yeah. Oh man, All right. let's, let's let's see what else. What else we got? What else we got? Boy, I get sad here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
uh, like what is it? Um, because I'm uh, just funny just talking about cartoons, cartoons or something. Because like I was literally at work uh, the other day and uh, we were talking about tattoos, and one dude said he wants to get a talisman for Jack and Jack Adventures. Yo. Right, which which talisman would you want if the if the talismans were real and you could actually like use them which you get i don't no, I got just one, one. I got one just one you have to use the one that's the year that you were born oh damn that sucks bro that sucks we choose. both get astral projection that's it it's yeah the year, we were both it's the year the sheep year the oh god the sheep yeah terrible yeah. I remembered when I was younger and I realized I was born in the year of the sheep and I'm a Virgo. I was like, I'm a virgin sheep. Wow. I'm the most sheep in the world. Like, nah. I, I, was, <laughs> I couldn't get a dragon. No. Yep, nope. I couldn't Mm-mm. get like a scorpion or a lion. Nope. No, okay. nope. A virgin sheep. Would have even taken a monkey. You know? <laughs> Innocent thing that I can think of. A virgin lamb. What is that? Yeah, look. <laughs> It's we about it. See, I, 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 I wouldn't go with the ox, right? If it was give, if if I had the choice, just cause, like, all right, I'm strong, so. It's re- I feel like it's redundant for you too, since you're a toy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you also have uh, uh, the dog. You know, always healthy, kind of lit, kind of lit. Uh, the snake is awesome. Invisibility. Invisibility. Yeah, I feel like that if that gets into the wrong hands, though, that's a problem. Very dangerous. I don't yes. know if you've seen the boys, but that's a perfect example. Of- I yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard I've heard good things. Yeah, he there's a character in there. His name is Translucent. He's he has the power of invisibility. He's a dick. <laughs> He's a dick in the way he uses it. I'm that's all I'm gonna say. He's an asshole. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Worst part is he needs to be naked. Like, he can't have clothes on. Oh, my gosh. You know what that's <laughs> like? <laughs> um, oh, man. you're. Yeah, I don't know if anybody here is old enough or used to watch movies uh, of that era. Um, but uh, I don't know if you remember Mystery Men. Uh, yeah. Janine Garofalo. Kel. What, what's his last name? I forget his name. Uh, Kel Mitchell. Kel Mitchell, Ben, wasn't uh, uh, Ben Stiller, uh, yeah, oh, uh, Hugh something, Hugh Azaria, something like that. Uh, he's like, bro, he he had like he had the the forks and sh- oh my, yo, it just anyway, but Kel's character, yeah, uh, yeah, no, he he called himself like the wind. He he goes, I can be as invisible as a window pane. And they're like, what? It's like, that's, there are things more invisible than that. <laughs> Listen, okay, these are my powers. Don't question yeah. them. <laughs> no, he, like, he even says that, like, he, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. But you can't look at me is one of the things. He's like, <laughs> so at one like, point, he, like, takes yeah. all his clothes off. He's like, I'm invisible. Can you see me? And then everybody turns off, and it's just his butt. It's great. That's, that's what, I'm invisible unless you look. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. That sounds like my childhood. <laughs> like, oh my god, that's terrible. That was sad. That made me sad. <laughs> no, but um, that's a terrible problem. Like, I like the funny thing, writing oh. the story that I'm writing. I've literally took a list. I literally found like a Wikipedia page of list of fictional powers, like from any fictional um, the universe. Books, yeah, yeah. Books. Of TV shows, movies, anything like any fictional power has been depicted in some kind of media was on this list. Yo, what's up, Otilio? Ear. I found this list and I'm looking at all these powers and I'm just like, what? <laughs> what? And they're variants. I'm like, what? Like, Photokinesis, hydrokinesis, pyrokinesis, terrakinesis, telekinesis, and these are just kinesis. And then it's just gets into all this other stuff. I'm like, this is nuts. The amount of powers that are 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 have been used and have been thought of. Yeah. And you wouldn't even think of the top of your head if you if you think superpowers, these would not fall into the top yeah. ten. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't you wouldn't consider a lot of them. 
it's it's nuts it's literally insane which makes me even more excited about uh some of our characters in uh said uh un uh unannounced name project uh so one of the reasons why the name of this stream is working title uh, is because ralph and i usually have like three or four projects that we're talking about doing but i'm terrible at at helping to actualize them uh <laughs> With the name with the name for the comic book though uh i i did uh thank you for giving me some credit no that I'll give you credit yeah it's look yours. and i will refuse to take credit if i didn't actually do something so you know balance right very much balance um all right let's see yeah yeah, let's move on to another topic. We we we've uh, vetted out the Carson topic very much so at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, all right. So I, I yo, I kind of want to get into. I kind of, I'm, I kind of want to get into uh, the conversation I was having with my sister last night because I feel like if there are any women watching, they might be able to 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 relate and comment on this. Um, just by you know, because I I feel like it's important for us to 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 be able to see everything from both points of view, right? Um, right. The the ignorant men of the world won't understand uh, like what's wrong with their actions unless they see how it affects like women in real life, you know, the, um, and vice versa, right? The women that have become toxic or that or women that are toxic because it, there's there's players on both sides, uh, um, you know, that don't know that their actions are toxic, right? Like, um, so we're talking about toxicity in general. Like well, even... it doesn't have to be specific, right? Because uh, it's like, or I say it's it's within the subset that we were talking. The subset that we were talking about was like toxicity when it comes to relationships and like uh, dating apps specifically, right? Because dating apps suck, right? Uh, oh, dating apps are terrible. They're terrible, yeah. right? It, it, with with this generation and this was kind of a big point with this generation especially and then moving forward into gen z and whatever you know gen we're gonna go on after z is whether it's one two three i don't know whatever it's probably gonna be algebra next um uh Behind, like, is that gen <laughs> yeah gen at sign star four um it, <laughs> B squared equals C squared. Nope. Canceled. Uh, I'm out at Gen Pythagorean theorem. That's it. Gen Pythagorean theorem. Because they're always obtuse. <laughs> All right. I'm done with myself. Sorry, guys. Time to go. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, so one of the things that, that, that we were bringing up was that there's a lack of attention span these days. All right. And... The lack of attention span means that the men who used to be like patient and willing to take time to get to know a woman have become less patient because they know that there's somebody else right after that swipe, whether it goes the way they want it to or not. Right. Same same on the women's side, I have to assume. Right. Because, you know, that there's going to be another dude on the side of that that probably swiped right on you. Let's be honest. It, it Everything's sort of skewed in that direction on, on dating apps. Um it's like it, it, options are yeah options options are abundant but i feel like that's also one of the problems for women is that they're flooded with not just options flooded with horrible options so it numbs oh, yeah. them so it numbs them to actual good meaningful interactions with guys that might be like actual well-meaning people the thing that frustrates me and it bothers me is the the fact that um there's this constant rotation in like it's it's um it's unfortunate to use this term pickup line like ways that that people will introduce themselves guys will introduce themselves on dating apps and unfortunately there'll be these guys that will introduce themselves and the introduction will be it'll it'll be good but then it'll go left so these guys aren't the best guys but they know how to introduce themselves they know how to start a conversation mm -hmm. so now there are a lot of women on dating apps that's if you don't come correct with the intro, they don't even want to. Like you gotta come. You can't just say hey. Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. And like, why like, can't I just have a regular conversation with you? 
that should be an accept- I feel like that should be an acceptable in, um, introduction, especially if the woman hasn't put a lot of her. I hate when a woman doesn't put a lot of her profile because you're not giving me anything. To- I refuse like, to swipe I- right. I refuse. I, I refuse. Like, I have to have- I need to see that there's something like you can be wildly attractive, but Bro, I need to see that you have something. I need um, something like, to go off of. Right? That's what I'm saying. Cause I like, something, like, I feel like that conversation. Yeah. Anything, anything. I feel like that conversation always becomes like, Oh, Hey, what's up? Blah, 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 and you'll say something and they won't yeah. re- re- like, they won't reply at all. And it's like, exactly. but, but I just want, how do you get, like but then y'all get mad if guys are dry in conversation and but you be mad dry too yo that's why i love this app called bumble i know you've heard of it. i think we discussed this app before what i love about this app is that women need to start that women need you like yeah um, match and the woman yeah. needs to be conversation so here I was when I first downloaded that. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna find all these introductions of these that these women want. I'm gonna see the creativity of their introductions because I'm so sick of being the one to start the conversation. You know what I get? Wave emoji. Yo. You're not trying. Yo. You're not. Even uh, yeah. Trying. Bro, I a hundred. Yeah, I told you about. Uh, I my I had an experience on Bumble as well. I so me and the uh me and the woman in question like we're 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 still friendly now um but i even like i made fun like i I definitely roasted her for that uh like because she just said hey that's all you got and i'm like bro yeah and her like and uh, and, like and again like on her profile like she didn't have that much but there was enough for me to hope that she was a real person right it's not enough to know that they're a real person it's enough to hope people that's a whole other thing bro like because i feel like I, I don't know about on the women's side like looking for men i know for a fact on the men's side looking for women there are tons of scams straight scammers like the women that look like they might be real but are actually just bots that are trying to get like your credit card information if you're silly enough um you know uh uh like just just random pages that are that are set up to try to trap you I one yeah it's it's one of the reasons why I don't swipe right on you if you don't have anything in your profile uh I don't swipe right on you if you like if the only thing you have is asking me to add you on Snapchat or Instagram I like have only picture one picture no it's a dub or you got two yeah, pictures one and one of them's a black screen dub come on bro yeah, totally. don't don't play me come on I thought you should have at least three pictures I feel like, yeah, I feel like three is fair, but I like, I also understand that not everybody likes taking pictures. Not everybody feels like they're photogenic. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but make one of them your dog. Yeah. Um, yeah, Like do give us something or make, make one of them a personality picture. You know, it doesn't have to be a view, but something that represents you. Yeah. Like an event that you went to that you enjoyed, maybe a picture of you, a celebrity that you liked. That you Yo, yeah, of. I wouldn't even like, be mad. I wouldn't be mad. Like a, a photo like, of you and a celebrity you like that you photoshopped together. I don't care. Like, listen. it shows that you're creative and you got an imagination. Bro, you got an imagination. You out here putting in work and you got some computer skills. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Yeah, you know. No, but um, yeah, it's rough. Honestly, it's rough out here, Dave. Yeah, man, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I feel that. Like, I'm. I've, I've downloaded and deleted dating apps so many. Times. I deleted all my dating. Apps. It's on a cycle. I, I feel like it's on a three to six month cycle. Um, what I do is, uh, I'll be on the app until I start getting notifications that uh, uh, uh hey, we noticed you haven't been on the app, and I'm like, oh, I guess I'll just delete it for now. And then a couple yeah. months later, when I get bored and I realize that uh, I have extra time and I'm not doing anything productive with it, I'm like, eh, let's let's see if there's me. anything. There's Pass nothing. The there was nothing. Yeah, oh nothing. my gosh. <laughs> I yeah I I, I got to start putting together the soundboard again. I think that's that's gonna be essential here. Very much so. <laughs> All right, so I want to use this to- what. Well, before okay, before we we leave the dating the dating apps top, does anybody? Because I wanted to like transition. To yeah. Way. Like, wait. So, does anybody in the chat have anything like to to contribute about dating apps? This is, this is yeah, yeah. 
Honestly, I could I could go off about this for a while. Like I, for like, a while. Yeah. Please, I, I, I yeah. Please, I have stole. Yeah, yeah. As long as as long as we can protect people's identities, I'm I'm down for all the tea. I'm okay. Look. Let's each tell one story. Um. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I got one. Use a name from a TV show. No, it's fine. I, I won't. I won't. I, I just won't. I won't give her a name. It's, it's fine. Uh, oh no. Okay. You want you want to tell your story first? Or you want me? To tell uh, you can go. You can go. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna name the girl in this story Kimiko. Kimiko. Okay. From, from wow. <laughs> yes, Kimiko. Okay, so I met. I saw Kim and go on on. Uh, should I name the dating app? Uh, yeah, you don't. Don't. Yeah. Promo. Don't. Yeah. yeah I get a promo for me. So I, I we match. We start chatting. She 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 looks fine. Cute. You know enough enough to to inquire further. So we match. We were chatting up a little bit, and and then I noticed that she has four twenty data. Um, two of her pictures of her smoke weed. I'm like, this girl. Ooh, all right, all right. This is when I had my own spot, spot mm-hmm. time. So I hit her with the, hey, you want to come to a smoke? Yes. So she, she was like, yeah. So she comes through. Me, her, and and my boy was there at the time. And we we're all just like smoking, hanging out. Da, 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 da. And I texted my boy. I said, yo, I'm going to give you text. Green light, but I need you to. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like we're chatting no, up. This girl, this girl brings out a lighter, huge, huge, and full. I'm okay. Like, okay, all right. This is gonna be an interesting night. So eventually, I give my boy the green, the green light to leave. Things happen. Great time. Would not repeat though, so I I, I like yeah. we, and we established that we we're gonna do anything more. So we end up um, going on our separate ways. I got really really busy, and she was like hitting me up to chill, but I ended up reaching out to her two weeks later, and she got irritated. Hey, I'm busy, I was busy. So yeah, that's how that particular incident ended. That wasn't bad though. Like this yeah. is what I mean. Like, sometimes situations can come out of it. That's fine. And yeah. Like, me and her end up being cool. I end up being like like mad chill with a lot of women that I end up involved with in one way or another. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Start with your story, sir. Uh, so my, I feel like my my stories are never that interesting because I don't really feed into like if there's drama, I I can't feed into it. It just it 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 eats at my soul. So I kind of just dub stuff that starts feeling too dramatic. Um. But uh, I uh, I started talking to this one girl, and I yo honestly, it was I was in the middle of a very bad week. Uh, my uh, the brakes on my car were messed up. Um, I I tried to fix them and ended up breaking something instead of actually fixing it. So I had to get my car towed. Uh, this happened six hours before I had to be at work that day for a very busy day. Had to tow my car. Um, had to go and uh, rent a car. The first place that I set up to rent the car uh, said that they couldn't take the kind of car that I had, but they didn't explain why. So I had to go to a different place. And while I'm doing all of this, I'm just like, like I just frustrated. And I get a notification on my phone that I just got super liked. Uh, and I'm like, oh. I'm like, what oh. kind of, what, what kind of. No, no, no. I think it was not. No, it was a right. No, it was it was a match. It was a match because I had I super liked her. Like I remembered after because, bro, when I saw this woman, I'm not going to lie to you. I was like. You can't you can't be real like you can't be real. You can't be real like you have to like this has to be a catfish specifically for me. Yeah, specifically for me. Fine, fine as heck. Um, yeah. and, and the, and yeah. like, she oh, actually had a profile. And what would you give her? Yo, honestly? Just so, yeah, so the audience can get an idea of what we're talking about. And, and I feel like, it, 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 Ralph, you, you know how, 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 like, it's, it's stringent. Yeah, I have a very particular taste. This, this woman was 
like a nine, nine and a half. And that really means a nine, then. Okay. Like, like she was, yeah. And it's so, it, but like, and then her bio was also like something that was directly aimed towards me. Like I was like, bro, you, you, you stop playing with me. Like, what's up? I, I super liked it, like just on a whim, because I'm like, if she's actually real and she does see this, fingers mm-hmm. crossed, she hits me up, and the way she hits me up is with banter, replying to the banter I had on my page. Banter is always nice. Because I had something on my page, like, uh, cause honestly, I'm not going to lie. I was just frustrated. I was angry. I was like, no, nah, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not really with it no more. Like, I wasn't really opening. I don't think I opened tw- uh, uh, the, the app. Uh, I was going to say Twitter for some reason. <laughs> uh, I don't think I opened that dating app for like a week or two. Uh, so my, like on my profile, it said, like, do yourself a favor. Just swipe left. All right. Okay. All right. Because like... It, the way like what i was thinking and and i i repeated that line to my sister and my sister was like ew that's cocky and i'm like oh i did not see it that way the way i was looking at it was like you're probably not gonna respond to my messages anyway so just swipe left you know like that like that's because bro like my look i just be out here um but she like she was like uh i was gonna swipe left but my finger did its own thing and I was like, mm. um, yeah. So we we started talking for a while, and it was dope. It was fantastic. Um, mm-hmm. She like uh, she was she was a really interesting person. You know, uh, we got to know each other, uh, and then yo, from like one day to another, like the conversation went from all good in the hood to Danny Phantom. Like just, oh, just oh. yeah, yeah, just like, and oh, and at, like, that. and she like, she went ghost for like a day or two, and I like, I'm like, oh, you know, just you know, how you been, blah blah blah, like it just making conversation exactly how we usually did. Mm-hmm. She'd reply like once or twice, and it was just gone, and I'm like, oh, oh, well, you know. This is the life we live. This is the life we lead. Um, you know, so there, like, there are those experiences, right, where you get ghosted, um, and like everything seems like it was dope as hell, right? Like it's not just the one, like it's not just because you always hear about like women getting ghosted on these apps, like after a guy is showing that he's like all dedicated and all this other stuff, and then he, he turns around and is just gone. It, you know, it, yeah. it, it it happens to us too. I swear. It happens to everybody. Yeah. Here, unfortunately, those things are very, very common practice yeah. that I I hate. Being an asshole practice. is not restricted to gender. <laughs> facts, honestly, facts. I I hate ghosting. I just like I feel like if you don't want to talk to somebody, like give them a reason. To talk to them. them over. Yeah, you. Like, sorry, you got to speak up a little more when you're telling your story, bro. It's it's coming in low. I hate I hate when people ghost. I yeah. Hate it. Like, if you don't want to talk to anybody, if you don't want to talk to somebody anymore, tell them. Like, just, like, be, be an adult. Talk to them. Like, I hate when people just fall off the face of the earth. And I, it's like... Yeah, I, let's it, be adults. It, it's, yeah. it's easier. Like, that's what people are going to say. It's easier. Like, I don't have to explain myself. I'm just going to... Yeah, like, just tell I me. would only go to somebody if they're making it difficult for me to stop them. Yeah. Like, if I'm... You see what I'm saying? I'm not really... And they like giving me trouble about it, which I've had before. They're like, "Oh no, come on!" And it's like, "Okay, you're not getting the point here, so I'm just gonna like." But I try. Yeah. Like I can say at the end of the day, I tried yeah. to break this off in a way that was cool. just gonna just gonna blue skid do what we can to just pull off, just pull off on them. <laughs> <I'm gone. laughs> but your story actually, I don't know why it reminded me of this this other story. This other story. Is a topic that I still want to transition into. So, um, the thing is with me, and I've talked to you about this. Before, how do you feel about dating in the work? Don't do it. Don't do it. You like dating in the work? Uh, I I think it is dangerous. Um, Coco, thank you for coming. Happy birthday! It's Coco's birthday. Well, happy birthday. Uh, I hope you got some tea, uh, and you're ready for your day. 
Happy birthday to you. I'm not gonna do that. Sorry, I yeah, I shouldn't keep shaking my chesticles. Nobody wants that. Um, we were talking about dating apps, uh, and just how how hopeless they are for everybody. Um, quick synopsis. Uh, I personally think that women are inundated with terrible options, so you're less likely to give good guys the time of day, which makes them. Uh, skip you and go to people who are going to further ignore him and it's just a vicious cycle um, yeah she said testicles are cool so I can do it oh god <laughs> that's a lot um, <laughs> um, so, where, where were we transitioning to yes no okay I was because I was going to tell just a quick story and then we're going to transition yes so I'm um, dating in the workplace I am not a fan of dating in the workplace I don't think it's a good idea. I, don't I think agree. Ever a good idea. Most of the time, I don't think it's a good idea. I feel like ninety percent, ninety five percent of the time, it's not. There are people that get married. When yeah. They mean to work. That's great, but I feel like it's such a roll of the dice. I feel like it could go so wrong. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you need specific kinds of people for that to work. Yeah. Like, there's not everybody can handle that. So, so here was the situation. Uh. Oh, we got here. Trent, Trentos Mentos. Trentos Mentos. What's up? What's up? What's up? What up? Welcome. So, okay. So here's what happened. Uh, you can join the conversation too as well. It's it's what we love about this. Welcome, welcome. No, yeah. feel free to contribute, dude. We're talking about dating in the workplace and how it's a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> so, so at my at my last job, at my at a last job I had, which I was. Um, I was working there, and there was a girl there who I was I was cool with. Like we had like a group of people that, and apparently she was interested in dating me. Now I was I was not open to it because I was like I don't like dating in the place. But after my friend was beating me down about it because he was trying to get me into a relationship, his friends and relationships wanted to get into a relationship for some reason. Um, he said, "Bro, just go out with you know what," and. It's it. <laughs> there's a, a a level of cockiness when you ask somebody on a date that you know is gonna say yes. Have you ever had that when you like? I know that you like me. Like, there's no, I, I there's no question about it. I don't. Have to I know. I've always <laughs> been. I, I think I've always had a healthy uh, a healthy fear of rejection uh, for every person I've asked. <laughs> <laughs> No, there was no healthy fear of rejection at all. Like, I knew she was interested in me. So I'm like, oh, but Coco I, knows. Trick, Coco's like, like, yeah. It's a power trip. No, yeah, you see, it's a power trip. So you don't even need to put effort in. It's like, it's just going to happen. So literally, I hit her up. I was like, we were, we were chatting. And what is it? She, I asked her, I was like, oh, uh, what are you doing for lunch? Do you want to, do you want to come to lunch? And she was like, Oh no, I'm actually eating lunch with a friend of mine. I was like, okay, no lunch. How about dinner? All right, you know, all right, yeah. That's literally how I Man, say I'm trying to feed you, girl. What's up? Like that's it. Like that's it. So she was like, oh, okay, I'm down. But here's the thing: when it comes to dating in the workplace, I feel like, especially in the beginning, if you are going to do it, you have to keep it on the low. Mm-hmm. The low. Yes. Because you don't know if it's going to go right. You don't know if it's wrong. You want about business gossip happens. So maybe down the line, if you guys are solid and you guys are together and that's what it's going to be, then you can, of course, let people know. But in the yeah. beginning, when you're still like, And yo, and out, it's so right? difficult to know if you guys are going to make it in the long term. It like, exactly. I feel like it's kind of weird, right? Part of me, part of me thinks that like you should have that separation, right? Like if you guys do work together, maybe you work different shifts. Right, so it's easier to to sort of manage because if you spend the workplace, yeah, yeah, Things but like, like I feel like uh, I've done it anyway. Um, but I like I feel like you've definitely got to be careful, uh, <laughs> uh, just because you never know. Um, you know that that person like what if you know, what if like so me I've always worked in the hospitality industry and not specifically for me and my positions but uh, a lot of positions in the hospitality industry have to do with Wait, being friendly. Story, oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> it's all good. It's you're right. Good. You're right. You're right. So, so okay. Here's the thing. So what we would do is 
we would um, be in a locker area, change, get ready to go to work. So I would change, and sometimes I would get there a little late, get there like right when I had to get there. So I'll get there, change, and then go. And they would like walk in early from like the chill area near the locker room to go clock in. Yeah. So they would go, and I would change, and then go right after them. Here's what happened: after I asked her out, and we said yes, and we were setting for a date, the group that she's usually with would go, and she stopped and would wait for me. And I'm like, no, 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 no don't wait. For me. Don't switch up. Go, go. But she was like really weird about it. I was like. Go, don't wait for me. Go. She's like, no, I'll just wait here for you. Like, what's the big deal? I'm like, you making it hot. <laughs> yeah, I get it, and I appreciate you. Just go. It's because that go. extra unwarranted attention from like oh. everybody else, it, <laughs> it, it dooms relationships sometimes. Yeah, like, because you guys still are trying to figure out who you are with each other and where you're at. That's yeah, where that's very dangerous. Yeah, and even those can be like I know some friends that got into uh, yeah. yeah. What's what's the proper term? Entanglement. Um, Entanglement. Yeah, yeah. I know I know some people that have that have gotten into those. And I'll be honest with you, uh, one of my last relationships started as like a a, a one time thing. That was like, damn, this is actually. Yes, I'm gonna say All right, yeah, let's do it. All right, <laughs> no, I'm just go gonna put a pin on. I'm just gonna put a pin on the story. It's almost done. After that, and she saw that I was kind of like getting like distancing myself at work a little bit, she was like, "Oh, I don't know if I wanna if if we should go out." And I was like, "Okay," at least I said, "Okay," because I was already apprehensive about doing it in the first. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess not then. We'll just be cool. Like two weeks later, she was like, "Oh," asking my friend, like, "Oh, can you talk to Ralph and see if maybe he'd be willing to give it a try?" And, and my friend who knows me, he was like. He, he he was so apprehensive about doing it in the first place. Ew. Nah, nah, definitely not gonna I love it don't to worry. have to have one of your own boys. Yeah, look, and, and I, I don't know if you were here for the for that part of the the conversation, but we said ninety to ninety five percent of the time it doesn't always work. It you takes say, specific no, kinds of people to make it work. Uh, you and your wife are those specific. You guys fall into those categories of those specific kinds of people. Uh. Well, and that's, that's coñazo. That's what I'm saying. Like not everybody no, yeah. is, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. is mature enough yeah. to be able to yeah. set those boundaries yeah. and expectations. Yeah. 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 Um, Unfortunately. Yeah. But like the example that I just told the story, I just told, like she was not respecting yeah. the boundaries. And, and like, like, it wasn't, it wasn't working properly. Like I, yeah. I really feel like it needs to be personally, I feel like in the beginning, it needs to be just between you two. And not yeah, I think issue. yeah, I think it's That's important for you guys to know who you are, where you are, right? So you can set boundaries with each other, but also set boundaries in regards to work in general. Because um, one of uh, like a, so what I was gonna say is um, this woman that I was dating, uh, it, like we didn't intend for it to become what it became, right? Uh, okay. At first. It, it was I had a crush on her. Uh, I didn't know that she was feeling the same way. And, you know, one day I was like, yo, this is weird as hell. But I know I'm your boss. But would you want to, like, hang out like as friends? And she was oh, like, okay. yeah. Well, no, I, I did not think that she like I was 100 percent nervous. Please don't do that to me, Ralph. Like I was I was actually 100 percent like I was so nervous. I was super anxious. I get like that every single time. Um, I get, I get. and, uh, uh, and she, she said yes, a lot faster than I expected her to. Yeah. And I didn't it you out. like it, not that it bugged me out, but I didn't like, I didn't read into it because I like, cause we just laughed it off right afterwards. Um, but little did I know that like, she told me like after we were in a relationship that she was playing that shit the whole time. She was like, yeah, I was trying not to get the job so that I could scoop you. But anyway, what? Why, yeah, but but yeah, while what? like, yeah, after we went on that, after we went on that first date. Yeah, yo, she got me. She did. She got me. Uh, uh, after we went on that first date, um, what was it? She like we, we had the conversation. We were like, all right, so what is like what what are we going to be do? like? What's our goal here? You know, uh, you just recently got out of something 
I've been free for a while. Yeah, they were. Uh, and and here's the thing though, this girl yeah, no, before you're you're yeah, boss, uh, boss and employee relationships are difficult. Yeah, a hundred percent. And it's so very difficult. Yeah, and let me just for and for me personally, right? Because I feel like I'm still talking about like my my personal experience here. Because I know like this isn't the same for everybody. Uh, no. I think that I was um, uh, I was fortunate enough that this particular employee i immediately pegged her for management i could immediately tell that she had the mindset of a manager of somebody who should be in charge and lead so as soon as like we saw that she was with it and like while we, she and i were dating i'm like i told her straight up i'm like yo we got to get you to be an assistant manager or a gm at another nearby location so that like we don't have to we don't have to worry about bumping heads so that while she was my employee you know, we 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 were able to to deal with that dynamic appropriately because we had already established those boundaries beforehand. You know, work is work outside of work is where our relationship begins and continues. You know, um, once like once she moved uh, to, to that other location, it was so much easier because at her as a manager, she was doing her own thing. I didn't have to worry about it. You know, I, I didn't have to worry about like, you know, uh, I didn't have to worry about uh, the boundaries within the store anymore, right? I, I could show affection if she came over now. You know, I could be myself around her and around my staff now. But before, I always had to be extra reserved to make sure that I didn't show, like that I didn't give anybody an inkling of an idea that I had any preferential treatment That's for anybody, um, because I didn't at the end. Like especially like people who know me that are on this chat, you guys know I don't have preferential treatment for anybody. Um, it, you know, uh, it, it, quick side note, I did once have a girlfriend that I had, I made her either pay full price when she came to visit me at Five Guys where I worked. Oop, it doesn't matter. I, it was when I worked there. Either, you know what? This wouldn't get anybody in trouble, but uh, you, Ralph, I don't, you, you, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, she either paid full price when she came to see me uh, to eat or I paid for her food myself. Extra. Like, he was not playing. It, like, cause, <laughs> uh, cause at the time I was on my way to a assistant manager or already assistant manager and i yo i'm i'm by the book i'm not i don't play that i work hard for where i'm at and i don't want nobody to try to tear me down for that um but I, either i paid i like took my card out of my pocket and paid not like oh it's my shift meal paid or she paid full price so i like i've always had that distinction between love relationships and uh, um and like working relationships they're, they're very important to separate and not everybody can do that. If you can separate that, you, you can, can like, you could you, you, like, you can go super far like you and your wife did like because that's a part of the thing that puts two in that percentage if you can separate. If yeah. You can separate it. Yeah. That's 100%. one of the things that you need. That's a prerequisite for a work relationship. You need to I feel like you have to be able to accept another person for being who they are, whether they're near you or away from you but setting those boundaries for when that there's that that because we're still different people right even if we care about each yeah, other yeah, there are still well, going to be things yeah. that 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 don't necessarily mesh well together and we might not be able to mm -hmm. work well together on certain things we might have be you know work well in a relationship but that doesn't mean that we are you know super friends you know like what you know uh that we're not like uh, super friends at work or like we, we might have different work styles, you know, like that ex of mine, she was a lot more detailed in her approach, um, you know, or she would focus on on specific things, whereas I would try to run the the store in, in more of a general fashion or, or you know, it, you know, you would you tackle problems differently. And sometimes mm -hmm. that causes friction, but that's not. Um, sorry, yeah, sometimes that causes friction. Um, but that, that doesn't necessarily, uh, equate to, uh, like a positive or negative experience in the relationship. Um, you got to start with that conversation and setting those boundaries. Communication is number one. No, a number one for any relationship communication. All the time. All so the time. Me, so speaking, speaking about relationships is the train um i wanted to speak because i speak like on it. a very interesting conversation about monogamy in the modern uh a very very interesting conversation i feel i love having this conversation about like 
where monogamy stands to. Okay. I feel like right now, I feel like right now more we are, we are seeing the world kind of open up mm-hmm. to non- monogamous relationships mm-hmm. and have a respect for non monogamous relationships. I've been seeing um, see it like social media and stuff. Like you'll start seeing um, a non monogamous relationship on family, like. Um, uh, secondary partners and primary partners, and I love it personally. Yeah. What's up? Oh snap! All, all, all the boys here. Ooh. Oh, my oh, man said man. on his plasma screen. See, Ralph, put yes. your microphone directly in front of you, please. Please. Okay. Uh, it's okay. It's it's right here. Ooh, that is sexy. Uh, yeah. Is the, please don't yo, tell me that it, I have yo. to do this. Yo, right, right. It sounds so good. I'm so angry. Like, do I have to just hold it. Yo, no, nah, you don't have to hold it. But see if you could like put it on top of some books or something. Closer. Yeah, I got it, uh, like right here. How's that? And yeah, and your gain is at max. All right, let me see. Let me see what else I can do for you on my end. Uh, no, we're good. I think I think everybody can hear me. Uh, we've covered so far. Oh, yeah. We've talked about dating uh, apps. We've talked uh, about... Cartoon duos that Ralph and I duos, actually are. Um, workplace relationships. Workplace relationships was uh, what we uh, just finished uh, uh, talking about. And we spoke on... And we were... I'm just, just starting to transition into talking about uh, non-monogamy. Uh, or, yeah, monogamy in the, in, in the modern in era. The modern, yes. Modern era. So how do you, how do but, you uh, feel about it? How about you speak your truth? I've done research. Like I've done research on the topic just because it's so interesting to me. Yeah. Because of the fact that I feel like we're so, as a people, at least like in our society that we come up in, in North America, we are so stuck on the idea of a monogamous relationship. I mean, the majority. And I feel like there are some people who know, like they know that they would do better in a novel relationship yeah being with one partner me being with and unfortunately they and because monogamy is the thing that everybody's doing they'll keep trying to do monogamous relationships because oh i get like this is the thing this is the only thing like yeah having a girlfriend and me being monogamous and me being with a single partner we think that's available to me and it's unfortunate because there are so many options out there um you can be married to multiple people. I've seen sister wife situations. Yeah. I've seen multiple husbands. Like, if it works for you and everyone involved, that's what matters. It yeah. It happens in yeah. every Step episode of side of your circle and meet people who may be open to these ideas. Like, you may find a whole new group of people who are interested and open to these ideas, and you may find something that works for you. Like, because there are certain people who just keep cheating that they keep stepping out yeah of yeah or they'll, they'll ask their partner about stepping out of the relationship and their partner will get so insulted they'll, they'll break up with them like it's a vicious cycle that can be broken with exploration research and uh changing the people that you're around yes absolutely um i i haven't done as much research as you uh i i do have a uh, friend uh, that I speak to online that he is polyamorous uh, and he has, you know, his main partner uh, and he like, he's, he's really open with us about like, you know, just the, his experiences um, in, in, in a mostly PG way. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. 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 It, it, sometimes it gets PG 13, uh, but nothing, you know, nothing further than that. Yeah. PG 13, May, maybe NC 17. Uh, That's but nothing, yeah, thinking. nothing, not like rated R, thank you know, or X, thank goodness. Um, <laughs> but uh, it, and the way that he explains it is like it's it's really about you know you have this this main connection you know with your main partner you know somebody who's who's like that's your ride or die that's your like uh, yeah you don't see him anymore but here you saw it today um you know and and he's like yeah you know he has his main partner and like he knows that she's always there for him like they you know they're always going to be there for each other yeah she's yeah. allowed to take on other partners as is he and they also share partners um but it's always communication right it's always like hey 
-hmm. I found this person that I think is attractive. Uh, you know, I kind of want to get to know them and see if maybe you like them as well, you know, like, and it's, yeah. Or sometimes it's like, Hey, I found this person that I might want to take on as a secondary partner, you know, and it's, it, it's again, it, communication. It's all about communication. Communication is number one, two, three, and six incidentally. Uh, yeah, not four. Four is, uh, four is sex. I don't know. I, I wasn't really looking at the, I wasn't really checking the list. I'm sorry. I, or is give your partner the same amount of pleasure that you expect? Yo. That's Yo, no. Nah, see, I feel like it, mm, it. Let me not speak on it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's Look, it is still Fine. Sunday. It is still the Lord's Day. All right. We, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I said pleasure. That doesn't have to be a sexual thing. No, you're right. You're right. Look, I am well, well, well versed in, in the uh, art of non-sensual massages. Uh, oh. they are non-sensual because I make weird noises during them to, to make sure that the mood can <laughs> stays platonic. Yeah. Uh, I pull up with my, uh, I pull up with my Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, you like this? I'll do it. I keep, I keep my oils in like a, a nerdy yellow duck container oh. so it's not sexy whatsoever and, and it screw. quacks whenever you squirt it when i dispense this quack, 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 quack. You see how not sexy this is the, <laughs> the tone <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i uh, yeah no, i don't know i like i'll be completely honest i've i've toyed with the idea just the idea uh i feel I, like yeah, I, I okay, feel like so I I don't specific. have the capacity. Yeah. But um, just for you specifically, just uh, us, just me throwing a scenario in your direction. Like, yeah. Let's say that was a girl that you were interested in. She was interested in you. You guys. Am I dreaming? She... Huh? Am I dreaming? Oh, this is such an impossible scenario for you. <laughs> and the dragon's coming, right? So, um. <laughs> The, this is the scenario, and then this one comes to you. Listen, I am sexual. I do want to um, experience the ex experiment of the sexual aspect of myself while we're together. So, would you be interested in maybe open a relationship? You can have second. Have second. Uh, hold on a second, bro. You're 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 cutting out a little bit. Um... It, yeah, it's because you, you with the with the emotion you pull away from a little bit from oh, the yeah, you, yeah, you start yeah, hitting oh, the snake, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and, okay. and, and I can't hear so you through the microphone. Say, all right, so you have a, you have a woman that you're in a relationship with. That's fine. Everything is cool. Uh, she is bisexual and wants to. It's too cool for the mic. I need I need a better mic. So she is bisexual and she wants to not lose that aspect of herself while she's with you so she's want, she's asking if you'll be willing to open a relationship for you guys to experiment with secondary partners she would only be experimenting with females you can experiment you can be out do what you want with females as well and then if you want in the future you guys could come meet if you find somebody that you so are both are mutually interested in you could bring that person in for you to to experiment with at the same time like, would you be comfortable with something like that? So, Ralph and I, you, you and I, you've posed this to me uh, in the past, and I'm gonna give you the I exact have. same answer because this is this I is this is my truth. This is my heart of hearts. I don't know if I yeah. could, um, mm. because I I think what like one of the things that pissed me off because this this topic this question came from like uh, uh, something that I, either one of us had read or, or sent to the other one or something, but I think it's reductionist. Uh, to say, you know, if you're like, if you're a, a hetero man in re in a relationship with a bisexual woman or a a, a pansexual woman, uh, you know, to just be like, oh, I'll only accept you uh, exploring, you know, your sexuality if it's with a gender that I approve of, um, you know, That's your right. your like, like your well, sexuality uh, is I only am, but I'm yeah to you. yeah you know oh your sexuality you know it. it yeah, I only, uh, you know, is it's only your own when it like uh, when it benefits me or my fantasy, you know, like that's fucked up. You know, if 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 you you're are, dating, you has five friends like that. What? This is becoming yeah. more and more they, common, like, and I love it. I like I I I don't. No no no. I wait wait wait. It 
Five friends like what? Like, that, he, oh that are polyamorous God, or that think the way that I'm saying right now? Because, because yeah, there, there's there's a small delay. Um, it's I feel like it's messed up, right? Like if if I'm dating, yeah, if I'm if I'm dating yeah, someone, okay. no, the way that I'm saying that that like you know, You're yeah, wrong. that oh, their sexuality can only be their own sexuality when it benefits me in some way, right? If I'm in a relationship with someone and they feel like they have to limit themselves, like it, like I'm not doing them justice, yeah, like I they, you know I'm I'm uh, I'm not. I'm not being accepting of them and who they are. Uh, and I shouldn't even like be in that relationship or we shouldn't be in that relationship. You know, um, if on, like, if it's, if on the other hand, right, that conversation is always like, it's important to have, right. Cause even if she tells me, Hey, I kind of want to see if, if we experiment with having secondary partners, depending on where we are in the relationship, uh, I, like and that's that's the important thing right there where we are in the relationship not social media not our friends not our family members where we are in that relationship if we feel comfortable bringing other people into that that's up to us you know it doesn't you know it, it's not up to anybody else uh to comment on that well i personally don't know if i have the the capacity Right, because I get I get possessive. I wouldn't say I get jealous, but I get possessive. You know, I I care about you. Like I'm a claim you all day long, and I want to know that you're claiming me as well. Uh, and my only fear is like why? And and this is a selfish fear, right? Like let's say if I do get into like some polyamorous relationship, what if I'm not the favorite anymore? <laughs> what if oh you don't like God. me anymore? <laughs> You know, but the, like, but that's the thing, right? At that point, it's not really polyamory. It's more, you know, that person found somebody that they liked more. It's it's not that they, you know, that they found another love to bring into this relationship. Is that they found a love yeah, outside no, of the relationship to maintain? Relationship. Yeah, uh, but I feel like open relationship. Yeah, that's yeah. Like open relationship is like you like you get to do your step, dirt. Step, yeah, safe. you. Step toward polyamory, like the yeah. state, the safest <laughs> step you can take in that direction, without just full blown. Having yeah, I got my girl and my yeah, I got my fiance. My fiance got her boyfriend, and I got my girlfriend. What's up? Like yeah, and there are situations like that. That's completely fine. That's completely fine. If that works for you, awesome. yeah. Awesome. I think I think what it takes is for us as as people who may not be in that situation. To it not talk question. down to it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, it, to not like look down on it. Right. Because it ultimately like it's it's them. Right. It's their it's love. Them. It's their it's relationship. Them. Like it's not like they're running over to you and being like, hey, you want to be involved? We're going to involve you in what's happening. And every time no, I, and you know, rare, and, and if like, the people are mature, which uh, they usually have to be for the situation to work, yep. they're not going to do that. They're going to try to just rope you into it. Like, okay. So, so, so here's a point. Okay. So I'm going to give you a scenario because you know, Hit you with this. Scenario. I'm going to give you a scenario. So, so let's say I get a girl, attractive girl by, by some miracle. I yeah. Attract, <laughs> God bless. God bless. Woman. I have faith in you. Please. I have faith. So in you. hopefully we'll see. You know, I, I, I think, I think I'm, I'm, ha I'm halfway toward it. We'll <laughs> see. I'm like halfway there. Like I'm getting there a little bit. Yeah. So let's say that were to happen and I, I introduce the people and you know, I'm serious. So if I, introduce the people, yeah, I, and very rarely do I spread around the girl only if she's serious. What? So she meets you. And she says to you, oh, you know, me and your friend are in an open relationship. Would you ever want to try something like me and you? Like, and, and like, she's asking you before, like, even asking me just to see if you would be interested before bringing it up to me. What would you say in that I, I, like, is this like a text message or did she pull up on me in person? Because if she pulled up on me in person, I'm incredibly uncomfortable. Don't don't no, look yeah, at me yeah, in the face. Up you, up. And, and if, if she, she up like if she sent me a message, I'm calling you immediately. Okay, like I know you are because you're my boy. Yeah. But like okay, so let's say we're all out. Even let's like if, we're, yeah, we're all out, and like I'm doing something over there. You know, you're DJing. And, and, we're and vibing. Pulls you to the side real quick. I'm like, can I talk to you about something real quick? Just since we're all here, and she pulls you to the side, like asks you in person, like. 
and I'm like over there doing whatever. Like, what what would you be your response to the situation? And I'm gonna say in the scenario, you are attracted. Like she is attracted. I still have that like incredible loyalty to my friends that I I like. I feel like and the I first thing I'd I'd be care. like I'd like I'd be taken aback and I'd be like, does does Ralph know you guys are in an open relationship? Because you know me. I always have to open with a joke, right? Always open with a joke. <laughs> Do, does Ralph know you Does Ralph know you guys are in an open relationship? And if she says <laughs> yes, I'd be like, does he know that you're considering me? Right? Because it's one thing, right? Because it's one thing to like be in an Ralph open relationship good. and like, you know, mess around with just some dude, you know, some guy she meets at a bar. <laughs> But to be one of your best friends, for her to come to yeah. one of your best friends and be like, I want to know what your dick is like. <laughs> Nanny? <laughs> Bro, that's because that's, that's, that's essentially what it is. That's essentially what it is. No, you're curious. You're curious. And like, if, or she was like, oh, yeah, he, he's had sex with one of my best friends. Like, it's not even that big of a deal. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm going to ask Ralph. And then I'm gonna think I'm about it. Be so much information to you at one time, like he did that and didn't tell me the best. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 you're lying. He would have called me. All right, <laughs> he would have called me while it was happening. God damn it! Uh, no. Bro, I and while you're doing it, think of me right now. I need to tell you what's happening right now. Uh, <laughs> can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Do you hear? Do you hear the macaroni? Do you hear it? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry. I'm so glad that this that this uh, that this stream is set as NSFW because otherwise. I appreciate that. Thank uh, you for doing that. We're yeah. Free to do this. Uh, but yeah, I like. I don't know. I I I feel like I would still push all the way through, and I still don't know if I'd be super comfortable, right? Because I would I like. I don't like mind being Eskimo. Yeah, like I don't right. mind being Eskimo brothers with you. Like I respect you, but also like I've seen your dick. You know, like I, I <laughs> Coco's right. Bro. That line was golden. That line was. Golden. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I like, bro. I like. I gave you the nickname LDR for a reason. You know, like I know I could that's put in work, but I don't want. I don't want to compare. Do you know, and and I like. I feel like you in the back of my that, mind, right? I feel like in the back Why? of my mind, anybody that I put the work in on would be like. In the back of my mind, I'd always be like, "Did he do it better?" Listen, uh, and we listen. That's a, that's a but like, but like not, but like not in a way, not in a way that's like I want to be better than my friend or I'll feel inferior to my friend. I just want to know. <laughs> you just curious. Like, I just want to know. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, oh, let's not let's not talk about the, the acronym. Oh uh, yeah, Ralph's Ralph's nickname for from me no, is LDR. Please. Just the... and let's not talk about what the acronym means. Let's just say it's LDR. No, we're gonna move on. You, you can figure like, it I, out. Let's not. Move on. Yeah, you yeah. Have anyway, to figure it out. Listen, yeah. puzzle. There's a puzzle for the crowd. You guys figure out what it means. We're not gonna tell you. If you're right. <laughs> we're gonna put it in the comments. We're not gonna tell you. If you're... Yeah. <laughs> I just I, I have a such a love hate relationship with this nickname. <laughs> You hate it because it's an accurate descriptor, uh, and it gets you into more fun slash trouble than you want. It does. It does. Like, bro, you know how mad I was when you introduced me to your cousin as LDR? You know how mad I was? <laughs> and then, like, she sees me again years later. She's like, oh, yeah. Like, yes. This? Like I hate and love at the same time. It's, it's memorable, life. bro. Like, it's I, memorable. I don't want this. Don't oh my me. gosh. Yeah. Can't. <laughs> Can't, bro. Um, um, but yeah, I yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to like have to think about those comparisons. Like I wouldn't want to have to think no, about that uh, while I'm. Yeah. I wouldn't care personally. I wouldn't care I, personally. Like, and I feel like after we had the conversation, like if I knew that you were cool with it and I knew that she was a cool person that wasn't going to make it weird afterwards. And I knew that I wasn't going to be you know, super weird afterwards. I'd be more likely to consider it. Mm -hmm. No guarantee that I'd do it. Right. No, no, and I like, and I, it fun. you know what though? Cause it, especially because you know me, I would definitely crack jokes about it for the rest of our lives. Like oh, for, for the, the rest, like this, for the rest of the I time, yeah. This woman, yeah, we would be yeah. joking about this forever. Uh, do I need to come yeah. to the marital bed? You know, just, <laughs> just, 
bed, the wife. And when you guys are walking off, I'll start, you know, following a little too close behind. No, no. Just know that I would make you very uncomfortable about this. That's fine. Like, I would come to you. I, like literally, I'd probably come to you. If you were to do so, I would come. So she told me that you did this thing. <laughs> and I just need you to just describe it. I'm, I need you to describe it. Tell what you did. And just, just go just go ahead. La, la, a little louder, bro. And towards the camera. All right? oh, <laughs> towards sorry, the microphone. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'm just going to, uh, like, she came, like, I'm going to come to her, but, like, she said that you did this thing. And she she was all the rave about it. She loved it. So I'm just going to need you to describe it to me. And I'm going to write it down. Give me step-by-step instructions as to what you did. And you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can give it a go. See, and, but I'd, I, you know that I'd return it, you know? And I'd be like, uh, actually, we're scheduled for another session next week if you want to uh, watch. Um, I'm sure there's, no, I'm I sure there's room. Holding. I'm sure there's space in the room. Never <laughs> that's weird. That is weird. Uh, Listen, but that's a, that's a line I'm not. Uh, or uh, right. See, there you go. I weirded you out more than you weirded me out. I win. <laughs> um, or I, or I'd be like, uh, we can give her a camera, uh, if you'd like, uh, you know, <laughs> cook boy, cook boy. Yeah, Still that's me. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm okay with knowing it's happening i don't want to see it. yeah 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 my man's like uh, uh what was his name joe i don't want to know no yeah if you all right i think it's uh, as long as it's less than 30 seconds we're good yeah that's it i wasn't gonna go any <laughs> like no like no i'm good on no problem yeah, yeah 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 i don't yeah i don't I'm, know if that's Listen, I'm not. It's not I'm in my not. wheelhouse, I don't think. Not yet. What's anyway. shade? Who do shade? What's shade? Hey, we sitting in the sun. What you talking about? That's nice right around all, here. All things come to light. Yo, OT wow. was here earlier. He was angered by some of our blasphemy earlier. He was because now nah, he was not angry, that. but he like he definitely angry, he kicked in the door and he was like, "Hold up, y'all wrong." Hold and there, are, here are three reasons why. See, I like yeah, that though. Like he gives it, he doesn't just say that we're wrong. He gives us reasons. Like he'll, 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 he'll argue with us. Wrong because of this, this, and this. Uh, we were talking about. Well, I was talking to Ot about uh, having him uh, uh, on as a guest voice, uh, potentially in the future. Um, oh, but yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so we we've touched on. Do you have any final points about um non relationships and monogamy? Um, uh, my does anybody not have anything to say about it? I feel it? like, uh, I feel like one of the things that I have to say about uh, monogamy in the modern era is one of the things is similar to what I feel like I have to say about uh, a lot of things in in the modern era. Uh, a that? lot of things that aren't understood or recognized by our parents, our progenitors, our peers. Uh, is immediately discounted as wrong um, or yeah. or discounted as unnatural. And there are some things, while, yes, completely you know, disgusting and out of, like, natural order, loving more than one person is not one of those. Um, you know, being yeah. able to have the capacity to care about many people at once and still be a responsible human, like, that is that is an actual thing. You know, like, I'm uh, sure... We appreciate your input. Yes. Thank you, Coco. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. God bless. God bless. Um, but yeah, you know, it's funny. I feel like I say God bless a lot for somebody who doesn't actually. <laughs> I'm agnostic, technically, Listen, right? Man, uh, uh, it's something I'm used to saying. Um, my relationship with God is very complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure we've talked to him more than he's talked to us. <laughs> very much so. Very much. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I got it. I, I, your, final, your final points on on the monogamy. Uh, yes. Thank you so much. I I hope we we hope Thank to you. see you here. Uh, you know, more often as often as as, as we stream potentially. Uh, uh, I'm glad that you interact with us. It means a lot. Um, the yeah, we love we love being able to talk uh to people. Um, final thoughts on monogamy. Uh, yeah, just don't don't feel pigeonholed don't feel like you are forced to conform to uh to what is viewed as proper um just because you're afraid that you're going to be seen as other 
be true to yourself. You know, you can only really be happy if you're unafraid to love. Um, and you know, part of, part of love and part of loving is about like being able to accept yourself, accept those who you love, regardless of like societal connotations. Um, thank you. Just above all else to thine own self be true. Yes. That's one of my favorite quotes. Yes. Uh, you know what? What's funny is uh, one of my favorite quotes is uh, I am what time and circumstance have made of me. Nothing more. Yeah. Yeah. Like, really you know, so but yeah, like that. that's I'd say those are my final thoughts on. Uh... So what I was going to bring up. Oh, is... con- <laughs> I feel like this should have the title. Conservatives would hate this. Uh... <laughs> what really would really. But my thing is that at the end of the day, at the, I'm going to say this at the end of the day. You do what you want to do and let other people do what they yeah. do. Like, what they're doing has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Like, you know what's crazy no, is that we're the ones no. born in the year of the sheep. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's true, though. But, but yeah. honestly, it's true. Like, I hate when people put their nose in other people's business. Like, if they're doing something that you would never do, cool. You don't have to do it. Let yeah. them do it. Like, yeah. that's what they're going to do. That's yeah. their progress. Leave them alone. Let them do what they want to do. If somebody's like going to do it, anybody, it's not you. Get over it. If they're not hurting anybody, mm-hmm. just do do. Well, let them do what they want. So, the, the, what I wanted to, to transition into was a, something I feel like me and you are well-versed in, as well as a lot of men are well-versed in, the friend zone. Um, friend zone. yo, I, I don't even want to, all right? No, because let's, let's talk about it. so let's just talk about like it. all right here's here's my thing about the friend zone yeah when i was younger when i was younger i used to like i used to believe in it and get tight and all this other shit um yeah. you know like because I, I i was always labeled a friend uh i i was uh short I'm not chubby, ready for this like, topic. yeah <laughs> <clears throat> well, yeah i was i was always well, like i was short chubby wore glasses like um and i was a quiet kid Cause like I grew up in a household in, in a family that everybody was already like super loud. So I kind of got used to just like listening and observing, which made me a natural friend, uh, to, to a lot of like, you know, girls when I was growing up, because a lot of girls, I, I, I feel, you know, felt like nobody was actually listening to them, you know, while they were growing up, you know, and, and while I had crushes on them and all this other stuff, like, you know, they, they never really reciprocated those romantic feelings. And yeah, when I was young, I was tight about that. But, you know, friendship isn't conditional. You know, I, like, it just you know, just because you don't like me that way doesn't mean that I'm not going to try to be the best friend to you that I can be. Um, <laughs> don't worry, <laughs> incels. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, the friend zone... I, so I the friend zone like, if if i let me just finish yeah. real quick i i feel like all the right, friend zone right, right. the friend zone uh is i feel like there is a sliver of the friend zone that is real uh and mm-hmm. it is when women uh knowingly and purposefully lead a guy on knowing they oh, yeah, never like God. they'd never you know entertain right, yeah. that like that notion but they lead him mm-hmm. on for for the benefits of his friendship, whether it's, yeah. you know, like I, um, like uh, uh, I had a friend that he like he I, I don't I don't even know. Right. Like, uh, Wait, don't let, start telling like, a story. Hold on. no, 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 not 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 a full story. I, like just the oh, okay. just just like as an example, like I didn't actually okay. have a friend, but like, let's say you're a photographer you know mm-hmm. now you know you you whoa, show that like you got pictures now all these models and pretty women are yeah, hitting you up oh my god take pictures of me oh you should give me a discount because we're friends you know or, or like you know flirt and all these other things and try to like and try to lead someone on uh and then yeah friend has a truck uh, you know right, oh you know help me move like all the yo like uh, you know what's funny is i actually i semi i got caught by something like that before um but we're not going to talk about that uh just it, it, look women that they have a you know like it, it make sure that you know it, look you have your choice you have your choice and i hope that yeah and i pray that you always have your choice in your agency right like that's that's the number one thing 
it's incredibly important you know how you feel is is paramount and more important you know in 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 most relationships but secondary and immediately secondary is like if if it's an equal like relationship then it's got to feel like an equal relationship it it, kind of goes back to those power dynamics right uh they're coming over and being like yeah let's uh, let's do this because you definitely want to spend time with me and I'm yeah. open to spending time with you. Like that's the, you know, I feel like that's where the friend zone comes into play is that, mm-hmm. that toxic space where it's like, I'm going to pull you along to, to benefit from your friendship. Okay. Well, he, okay. Here's my thing. And I do want to acknowledge what, what he just said. Before. Yeah. That, yeah. Because How that do you is, control your mind from creating that question. fantasy? Here's, yeah. Here's we can talk thing. on it. So, the friend zone exists if you let it. Now, this is what I mean by that. Because if you are interested in a woman, and here's the thing. If you're interested in a woman, make that known as early as possible. That's how I feel like is one good way to avoid the friend zone. Make it known how you feel. And in what direction is going communication. Very clear. Because one thing that one guy, well, some guys will do is that they'll meet a girl. They'll think she's dope, and I'm like, oh, you know, I should, I should probably ask this girl out. I will ask her out today, and then they just get to know them. They end up having group or separate, and you have not made your intentions clear. So if you don't make your intentions clear, then you are in her mind what she wants you to be because you have not made your intentions clear that you want to be anything like platonic. If she's interested in you for more than more than a platonic state. Then you'll she'll slide you in there, or if she's just interested in you platonically, she'll slide you that way. Or if she doesn't know what you're trying to do, yeah, she may just wait for you to to make your intentions clear, which is something that can happen but doesn't happen too often. Yeah. So you can like this girl, you not bring it up, her not gonna bring it up. She slides you in that plat- platonic place, and now you're there, and now you're there. Or God forbid, like while you're waiting to ask for a yeah. boyfriend or something, then you're just automatically thrown in there. There's nothing yeah. you can do about it. So make your intentions clear as soon as possible. And now here's another thing: if you are interested in one or woman, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch on, I'm gonna touch on what he's saying because, because Ralph, see, this is this is where the the Tommy Chucky dynamic comes in. Ralph has <laughs> gained and maintained this confidence over the uh, like over the past. Uh, eight years, I, I want to say, uh, and I, I I've had a decline in confidence over the past eight years. Bro, uh, you used to be like you used to be the person I looked up to when it came to confidence. I just got. I, I could. I like, didn't hear anything you just said. Oh, I used to be just like I gotta be like Noel. He's so confident. Oh he gosh, just shoots his shot. Like, the girls like it's fire. It's good. It's yeah, look at Ralph's short. beard. So thank you. Appreciate that. So, no, oh God. So, like, you need to, like, it sucks, especially if you have anxiety. Bro, the worst thing that can happen is her saying no. And yeah, if she it, says no, you don't have to wonder about it. I, I feel like, I feel like, about it. Yo, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta jump in here, but I feel like, jump in, go ahead. Go like, ahead. I, I feel like, unless you have anxiety, it's hard to really understand the depth of how paralyzing anxiety can be. I like, like, like I, I bro, there, there, uh, especially like in that situation, right? Like it could be somebody that I know likes me and I'll, and I'll sit there for weeks. Like I like, she could just be nice. Like she could, like, it could just be a friend thing. Like it, it, right. And it like, I I've always been the kind of person that like you you like especially uh, maybe it's because of my experience right maybe because it's because of my experience like growing up always being that platonic friend and each of my like uh, uh, romantic intentions kind of being like uh, quelled or quashed depending on what keyword you want to use um, mm-hmm. but you know I I started to to try to like try to look at every like every relationship i'm getting into as just a friendship and try not to assume um but the problem with that is you never take the leap so you never know but here's my thing though you in doing that 
you are not setting any terms here. Yeah, you're, you're right. giving her all. You're like whatever you want it to be. That's what it's gonna be. Like you're right. your intentions, what you want to happen, you need to throw that into the ring as well. Yeah, you know I'm not like, gonna lie. Here. I'd be afraid they're just gonna stop talking to me. Yeah, but he's my. That's my thing. But like here's that, my, like that's that's what it should like, be, right? Like it, it you know, if if yeah, if yeah, if like if, yeah, if we're not if we're not on the same vibe, then we sh- like we we shouldn't even have to worry about saying. it. Like, but I like having friends. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. But you listen. You shooting your shot and getting dubbed doesn't mean that you don't have to be friends anymore. It just, you just makes it awkward. Yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't make it awkward. Like, well, it, it can. With girls and it can make it. And then we're so cool. Yeah. It can be depending. But here's my thing: if you shoot your shot with a girl and she's not with it, and then the friendship is weird afterward, is that a friend you really want to have? I mean, like she can't like like y'all can't just be cool and move fast. You know, like, that, I, yeah, I gotta, thing. yeah, I gotta, I have to agree with you because uh, yeah, I do have a friend that like I try to shoot my shot with her. She was like, nah, but we've still been incredible friends ever that's since. What I'm saying. Like, that's like we possible. we we did take a friendship break for like three to six months, but at like, okay. but we like yeah, that's okay, like that's that's okay, and let's say it had gone the other way. Let's say she was like, oh, put it. That's awesome. But here's my thing. If you said nothing, all it would yeah. do is hang over your head. Yeah. Is, I wonder if she'd say yes. Probably would have kept smashing them. But, uh... <laughs> I, but I still would have been like, I wonder, like, the, I wonder whether or not she'd say yes. That yeah, bothers me yeah. more than no. Yeah. That bothers me more. You know what? I like. Uh, I feel like this also kind of touches on that uh, uh, that monogamy in the modern era thing, because yeah. I I feel like uh, I, the the colloquialism that I'm gonna tag now uh, is, excuse me. Uh, I feel like my heart is attached directly to my dick, and if it's you know, and if <laughs> and if it's just too good, and you're like you, because I'm already like really picky about who I'm a who I'm a mess around yeah. with anyway. Like I don't take my pants off for just anybody, rarely anybody. Um, uh, so well, like, sex completely throws another whole factor. Yeah, you you got to be the right kind of person to you got to be the right kind of person to be able to balance that Sex can yeah, be that's yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that that in yeah. itself is a two and a half to three hour episode. Bro, just talking about <laughs> sex. And Let's talk about Bro, sex. We have to have just a sex episode. Yeah, just talking about what or it is or four. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah because it's nuts but <laughs> just, i get it speaking on <laughs> just speaking on the friend zone it only exists if you let it yeah because here's my thing yeah you have to remember you the have friend zone needs to be manifested that's has to be manifested if you are interested in this woman and you shoot your shot she says no you can choose to leave the situation too. yeah what if was it, it, it friends with this woman if you're more interested in in that than platonic, yeah. and she's platonic, and it's like you want that so bad that you can't just be regular friends with her, say you can't. Do yeah. It. yeah, 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 yeah. It's better to create the space than torture yourself trying to do something. Yeah, you don't have to just let her dictate the relationship, and she yeah. might be mad about it. I've had that before. Like I shot my shot with a girl. She was like, "Oh no, I really only see you as a friend." And I'm like, "You know, to be honest, like I really don't see you as a friend." Yeah. And I completely respect where you're coming yeah. from, but I don't. I it, maybe we can see yeah. this. Maybe one day we could be cool. But and she was like, "What the hell? I just we just because I don't want I don't want to date." You. Another like, mic. Listen. Oh, just because I don't want to date you, like we can't be cool. <clears throat> and I'm like, listen, let's not let's not do this. You don't want a relationship. Cool. I don't want a friendship. You need to be okay with the fact that I want to. It's like, I have to be okay with the fact that you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. You can't force someone to be in your life in a certain way. Yeah. And just, just, yeah, just because, yeah, just because you want somebody in your life in a certain capacity doesn't mean that they have to be there in that capacity. Um, It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely got to be, it's, it's a give and take. It is still a relationship at the end of the day, whether it's a platonic friendship or, or a, a romantic relationship it is still a relationship um and if there's not like consent right to boundaries on on the on the same boundaries on both sides then it's not it's not equal and it's not going to work out um you know it, the funny thing about that short story yeah. situation like that uh-huh. i shot my shot 
she said, I only really see you as a friend. I was like, okay, then I really just not going to be just friends with you, so I'm going to make moves. Yeah. And she was just like, oh, you know what? Fuck. Mm. And, and I was like. All I heard this was this sigh and fine and everything else kind of like went away, but I. No, she's like, fine, I'll go, I'll go out with you once. And I'm like, this is weird. This feels like a pity date. Like, I don't like this. But you, I was like, you know what? Fine. Fine. Let's do it. So we ended up going on a date. We, She had an amazing time. She you didn't. Incredible time. <laughs> I had a cool time. I had a cool time. Not but as good as that, yeah. I'm telling you. Like, because in the back, yeah, in the back of your mind, like, it was, it was, it was, it was like, reticent. Like, she didn't want to do it. Yeah. Like, like, I'm going to be here yeah. and I'm going to give you everything that I would give you on a date. But this is like just a little bit. Yeah. And she ended up like, because of the date, she ended up like looking at me in that light look, but she was like, oh, date. I'm like, nah. Me, yeah, I was going to say, me, nah. yeah, I, yeah, I would have been petty enough to be like, yeah, like, you, you, you saw, you saw all that? Listen. Yeah, see, if you would have, if you would have been right. at least open to trying it, yeah, you would have, you would have got the hookup, son, because that was, that was just date one. You should see what I had for that two was, and three. That, that was me bullshit. You that was a scene. Man, I, would I, have seen. I threw that together in a half hour. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like I was, I was born one day, and I put this together, and you're loving it. Oh, you have no yeah, clue. Forget it. it. Nah, you're good. And she, and then she got mad again. She was like, "Oh my god, now that I want to," I'm like, "You see how you this is this energy? I don't like this energy. So no. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it. sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you, yeah, you got to go. Like I. I don't know, right? I, I feel like it's always weird when 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 it switches up like that, right? Because nobody expects that, right? I'm sorry, Kings. We have to reclaim our time. <laughs> Yo, you know what? We I respect have to it. reclaim our energy. I respect it. I, like you can't let. I'm sorry. Like you cannot let these women dictate every relationship you're going to. Have. You have a say. Mm -hmm. You have a mouth. Mm -hmm. You have. And keep yeah, it in, like, I that in mind. and so kind of going back um, into like how do you control your mind from creating that fantasy? This is this is the advice that I would give you. Yes. Um, reality. You have to take time for yourself to reflect. Okay, it might not be easy reflection. It might be some painful reflection. It might be some hard truths that you're gonna have yeah. to confront. Um, you might even need a friend or somebody that you know who's going to be honest and unbiased with you to help you try to break it down and figure out what's going on. You know, because I've had friends yeah. come to me and be like, yo, I don't I can't really read this situation, bro. Can you help me try to figure out like what's going on here? You know, I've gone to friends and I'm like, yo, I don't I can't really tell if this girl is into me or if she's like, you know, holding me on the line. Like, can you guys help me out? We need to like we got we got to stop forgetting that humans are social creatures okay our experiences need to be shared so that we can all grow right yeah. if if ralph comes to me uh about a situation in which he was hurt by somebody in a similar way that i was hurt by somebody or he's you know in a situation where it's the beginning stages and i can identify those behavioral patterns and i could tell my friend he can protect himself or he can subvert it and have a conversation with his partner so that they instead move in a positive manner, right? We need to sometimes be able to swallow painful truths and be yeah. with ourselves like uncomfortably until we can learn to, to call out behaviors that don't benefit us and that won't benefit us. Right. And, and it sucks sometimes because like, no, it sucks it, all the time. Not sometimes. No, 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 no. Like if you're friends, like if you're friends with a girl that you find attractive, just got got to stay in friends, but you do find her attractive. It'll hurt to get to know her. And then sometimes you'll get to see things about her that you like even. And it's just like, oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like you like go to her house over for the first time and she has a, a dope ass Pokemon poster in her room. It's lit. But under it, it's a Justin Bieber poster. Tragic. No, why you got no. <laughs> Sorry, why sorry, you sorry, sorry. No. <laughs> like I'm imagining the well walking into a girl's room and then she and then you see a Diablo 3 poster in her room. And yeah, I'm see... I'm staying in that room. <laughs> Cuz I the Diablo 3 poster, Overwatch poster. <laughs> 
I, I would have to check. I, God, I almost made a terrible joke. Anyway, um, <laughs> you see, this is see, this is this is how this is how we catch ourselves. This is how we catch ourselves. All right, we gotta like we gotta. Yeah, like, or like, or for the boys, like if she, if she's like a nerd, so opposed, like you just see dope yeah. stuff that you relate to and can have conversations with her about. Or if you see like, a, I remember seeing a girl and I saw that she had a tattoo. I think she had a tattoo. She had an avatar tattoo, <gasps> and she had all four nation symbols. One of my friends just did that. All. I was like, I looked at. I was like, that is awesome. Here is and so now, awesome. I promise to I'm love you for you. Yeah, that's. It'll got me right, but bro, like it'll mess you up. It'll mess you up. Yeah. You just accidentally have a conversation about something that you love with. Her. Yeah. Like. That's what, what it was it? with the girl that ghosted me. You see? Yeah, like you just accidentally mentioned something. Yo. Like me per like one for me personally. Disney. If we accidentally have a conversation about Spider Man. Oh yeah, like Spider Man. Oh, it's oh, over with. Yo, it, like, show it show your something. tattoo. Where is it? Show him. Show him. Uh, I mean we Yeah, bro. Yeah, I love Spider Man. So yeah. like if she brings up like, oh you know, I was watching Homecoming the other day, I'm like what are you watching? Like, yeah, I was watching Homecoming the other day. It's cool, but it's not as good as Into the Spider Verse. Did you just say? Excuse me? Like, <laughs> I'm done. Like, that, that that's going to mess me up. If I don't find her attractive and she says something like that, and I'm just friends with her, it's going to be like, like, I could see us having a conversation. It'd be, it'd be so dope. I could see us having these conversations. But you can't let your mind just yeah yeah you like, you have to rein it in with reality swallow. you know and take like take your time yeah swallow it yeah like let it go like you it's... can't let your mind want and you know what though like and and you, we're we're gonna start winding this down relatively soon but I I think the saddest thing about that is that it is seen as a negative thing to be excited in a relationship or to try to get into a relationship like why is it so bad for us to show that we're excited to talk to somebody or get to know somebody or that we're attracted to this person like but like it's it's so difficult uh to to get me thirsty bro yeah you know but the fu like fuck that yeah like you know what's great yeah and and i, I like and i'll and and i i kind of like telling this story because it, it's not a great story right it doesn't paint me in a great light necessarily uh, but I remember like when I was a, when I was a little kid, um, I, I was, I was like in kindergarten, I like, I walked up to, like, it was the first day of kindergarten. I walked up to a girl that I like, I just knew I was like, wow, wow. I gave her a kiss I'm on the cheek kidding. and I told her, I like you. Right. What? Yeah. I like, apparently that I, I, I was told about this, right. I, cause I don't, I didn't remember doing this, but I was told about this. Walked up to Bro. her and told her I liked her. She ended up being in the same kindergarten class as me. Uh, oh. It was me, her, and uh, that was when I met uh, one of my oldest friends. And um, she Somebody ended up. In a bad light. This is no, no, no. I'm not. No, I'm not done. Uh, no, this is just the beginning. Um, uh, no. She ended up. Uh, she ended up not liking me. Right. She oh. liked my friend because he had like he had gorgeous eyes. And when you're five years old, what matters to you more than like things you can see um yeah so, pretty much. yeah she liked him um and and also we're five like we shouldn't be worried about this anyway um but like <laughs> so she's focused on him and the yo i'm telling you i pined for that girl for like two years i so, enjoyed being in class with her like bro we would I go just, i just want to inform the audience that uh noel is a serial monogamous and this is been the case from from childhood in the case from childhood yeah it has well, been. Uh, go ahead <laughs> um like yo i'm telling you to the point where we, like we uh, uh whenever we would go on uh, on like school trips uh and she and i were paired together in the line i would be super hype for like holding her hand and this is where it gets even cheesier we used to like sing like like just random songs like we, we would either come up with our own songs right not just me like not just me and her but uh my friend as well like we would all like just it was weird we were between five and seven 
and like writing songs with each other and like writing raps and stuff and like just talking to like and on trips and like that to me was incredible right but then like the 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 desire for some reason like liking her never really went away the more she liked somebody else the more i was like nah bro this messed up this messed up this like you know like just trying to just trying to be a part of it there was this one situation uh and this story could go on for a while but she she made it clear that no uh my friend started uh uh lawyering his way into a uh, a better standing with her uh you know she what? she was yeah she was giving us uh percentages it, she was like you know oh noel i like you 70 percent you i like you this percent uh and like he started like uh saying oh but i did this for you she, so she started like oh, switching I it up that. and like no. like his percentage would go up and my percentage would go down clearly you you know we they just recently learned wrong. about percentages um and ah. like bro and it kept going and then once we were like even i was like you know what this is what i'm gonna do and like this was like the 50 the 50 percent line that i was at and I'm like, yeah. and like, I had my little man, like walk off and jump off. And I'm like, no, nah, that's it. Like, yeah, y'all can have each other. And I like pretended to Aww. to be mad at her and like, not like her, but I like, I, it stayed bro. Sixth grade. We went to different schools. She hits me up that summer. She's like, I'm visiting uh, my aunt. You should come see me. It's two blocks away. Yo, I, I, don't, I can't tell you how fast I got on that bike. I can imagine how with fast the with the like, bouquet of bro. I'm I, I yo, I asked my no, parents for money. Yep, I asked my parents for money. I went oh and I got a bouquet of flowers. God, bro. Yep. yep, I biked over there. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, we hung out. I gave them to her. She being eleven years old, she didn't know what the fuck to do with the flowers. Uh, we chatted like it was fun. Uh, and then like uh, and then she brings up out of nowhere. Oh, there's this boy in my class that I like, and I'm like. No, oh, no. That's cool, right? No. Weird. Okay. Well. It hurts. Uh, it hurts. and and like, I like I I know for a fact. Like I felt the heat. I know for a fact that my face went completely red. Uh, I her little brother was there, and that like that little. M- 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 mother flower even though it's not his fault he just started laughing his ass off he was like he was like six or seven so he didn't really understand obviously but he was yo he just he saw somebody sad or just shut down oh. so he just started laughing um, oh that makes it worse yep uh no. got on my bike and uh and and went back home and yo i i yo, i I'll, I'll be honest it, this is probably the best part of this story uh I, that that stayed with me right and i've uh, I, i'm the kind of person that i try not to have regrets everything that happened in my life i try to learn from it because you know yeah. regardless of whether i was happy or not that it happened it happened gotta grow up gotta move on right True. uh i ended up like because of that like i decided that i would try to focus more on myself and you know like try to just you know and i became the person that i was and i saw her again i saw her again oh. in a restaurant Did it hit you all at once? oh no oh no it was it was karma it was the other way around i was what? looking i was looking fantastic she was not um and she like what? like she even told me she was like wow you look great i hope you're good like i'm so sorry like i just you know i like it, you know we should stay in touch give me your number that night she was okay. texting me how sorry she was about what she did to me all those years ago that how rude she was and like i like and i and i like i i was grateful right I, i'm, I'm like okay. thankful um but when it seemed like she was trying to sort of pull it into into a direction that i had previously wanted it and i'm like i'm so sorry i'm how not was, interested how? How was she trying to pull in that direction? Is she something? like she like all right? She so she tried. Uh, I don't want to get into full detail, but uh, she tried playing the sympathy no, card. She yeah, she like, she like, she tried playing the sympathy card, uh, and it, like at first she like it, it, it could. Uh, I'm I. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mute this part real quick just in case. <laughs> no, come on, you can just. All right, yeah, said. all right, fine. No, no. So she like, uh, she she started talking about how, like how she cried about you know uh about like like she started thinking about what she actually did in the situation and she said that she like cried because of it um and what? if i'm completely honest with you like for the first time ever i i can i consider myself a very empathetic person like i feel people's emotions and feelings i yeah, see on tv all the time in person bro in that scenario i was like you 
like because I uh, I'm more attract like a more attractive option now, it like doesn't change who I am, because uh, all of the poems and stuff that she fell for the other guy for were poems that I wrote. What? Yeah, I mean, he got the skills what? for him afterwards, but he like when when we were younger, he used to ask me to help him to write God. poems to like to bad girls. So, bro, I, I've been out here for a minute. <laughs> That's but yeah like and, and like and like i back then i remember like i like i spoke to her and and like i had written poems and shown her them as well like to try to be like you, you see anything similar any you know is does the prose look look similar you know we we got the same iambic pentameter yeah you know, like yeah you know, the 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 voice behind this this uh this this essay you know really really pulling up uh, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah no, that like that thing, that like that. I feel like all, yeah. I feel like that really changed uh, my perspective of myself. For like, yo, you know what? I think that's what gave me confidence for high school. I feel like that. <laughs> I feel like that's what gave me confidence for my high school years. Listen, bro. I want to just, <laughs> and and after after I feel like. Do you want to say anything? Else? I want to say one thing, and then I want to. I want to say one more thing, and then we got. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got an outro after this. So. The story you just told me reminded me this. You've seen the movie Hitch. The yeah. Movie Hitch with Will Smith and, and yeah. Mendes. There's a deleted scene. It's on YouTube. D- not the not the one with with the what? camper? With the what? No, just go ahead. You, you just say it. I'm not going to okay. assume. I'm sorry. So, so uh, there's a deleted scene where he walks into a cafe and the woman that broke his heart in college was there and and he was looking much better than he looked in college put together suit was looking good da, da, da. so he's there and she seems she's like oh my god alex and he, he's like and he's thrown for a second because he's so confident now but you could see him shrink back into that yeah person. yeah you become that person like, again he knew her so he was but he like pulled it together he was like oh hey like it was good to see that i caught up blah, blah, blah. So she's like, oh, yeah, like, I'm writing an article, and I'm trying to write an article in this restaurant. Like, they're just catching up. So I'm trying to write an article in this restaurant, but it's like, to get a, get a And then you yeah. see, like, this smirk come across his face. And I'm like, oh, no, here comes the flex. Here comes the crazy flex. He calls, like, the major D or, like, the chef. He's like, hey, could you set up a table for a friend of mine? Yeah. Saturday night? Cool. And she's like, Saturday is impossible to get booked. And he's like, don't worry. Yeah, 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 Saturday. If you can get her a table, put her up. Cool. All right, yeah, your book's are, your book's. Are. And he and she's like, what? Like she's just so shocked, and she's like, oh, uh, like do you live around? Like she was trying to pull up to the crib. Yeah. Because she was like, you look good. Like you yeah. like something, something crazy. Like I'm with it. Yeah. And he's like. Oh no! Mm. I actually like uh, moved out of this area recently. But uh, it, listening, you have it'd be funny if he still yeah, actually lives like right next door or something. He just no, he lived nearby. That was yeah. the funny thing. He lived near me. But he was like, actually, I got I got to make moves. But uh, it was good seeing you. Uh, let's look with your article. And she's like, oh, but what? Like she wanted, to, like yeah. she was trying to, get to to link with him. Yeah. And he walked outside, and you could feel it, like he felt himself for a minute. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <He> <laughs> Bro, I saw that scene. I was like, my man. Yeah. That was all. God. Uh, uh, I think the last thing I'm going to talk about is, is some of the, the funny. Uh, I, I think like one of my favorite memes that kind of relates to this uh, mm-hmm. is uh, um, like the girls after compliments, nonchalant, and then boys after one compliment in six years. Thank you. Yeah, like they. <laughs> <laughs> um uh so it, well, we don't get yeah like uh signing off here um just make sure to follow yeah follow uh eventually subscribe if you want you know i don't know whatever you want i love you um we're trying to get up to 1k followers by october my man's wilding out here but i'm willing to try 1K um, followers by October. i'm calling it right now um uh, thank you guys thank you guys for stopping in uh and it, my main thing uh, be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. That's it. Oh, are you doing sign outs? Can, can I do a sign out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Go for it. That's that. That's gonna be my sign out. Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourselves. You're gonna recognize where the sign outs from. 
And in case I miss you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Later, gang. <laughs>